Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Automation Advanced Training. So this is our lesson one in terms of advanced concepts trainings or it's a lesson 16 in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca automation concepts. Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we use and how can we create business parameters in Tricentis Tosca by using latest Tosca 16 version. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so what are business parameters and how can we use them and why do these business parameters useful for us? Let us understand first. So if you remember in my previous session, I have already teached you about creating libraries and then creating reusable tested blocks in the library, right? So to create your different test cases, right? You'll be using a series of steps, same kind of series of steps, right? So those reusable test steps you can store in the libraries. Okay. So by using those libraries, you can easily create multiple test cases. So whatever the reusable test steps, you can just drag and drop into your test case and then modify the test case accordingly. Right. So now any modifications made in the reusable test blocks of the library will also apply to those test cases which are created with the reference of these reusable test blocks. Correct. So that's why you cannot make any changes to your library. Let's assume if a user wants to create multiple test cases with different test data, test data sets by using libraries. Is it possible? No. So if you modify any reference test case or if you modify any test block, then the corresponding test cases, all the test cases, whatever referencing your library will get modified. So since user data varies for different test cases, it would become a problem if we attempt to use testless test step libraries with the same data. So what is the solution? The solution is business parameters. So there is a solution that allows each tester to use their own user data for different test cases that you are referring from your library reusable test blocks. So you can use your libraries, you can use your reusable test blocks, and then you can create test cases, but you can change your test data by using business parameters. It's very, very important concepts. So by end of this lesson, you will be able to create and use business parameters at test case levels. So if you remember in my previous session, I have uh, teach you about test case configurations parameters, test case configuration parameters. So those test case configuration parameters are at test case level. These business parameters are at test case level, but you can change these business parameters for each and every test case. Basically, you can use different test data sets while creating test cases from your libraries. Okay, so now let's jump onto the system and see and understand how can we create and how can we use these business parameters. So this is my uh, Tosca 16 latest version. So if you remember in my previous sessions, right, I have explained you how to create library and the reusable test blocks within the library, right? And these reusable test blocks we have used to create the new test cases. So if you see here, if the folders are representing a reference here, reference, that means these test cases are created by using your reusable test blocks. 
right if you remember this process folder there is a modification that's why what we did we resolved the reference and modified steps right but here in today's session what if i want to create a new test case but i don't want to use a same set of test data right so then you can let's say i want to use my own url if i want to use my own email and password while creating my test cases from reusable test blocks so you cannot change so if you change your email id and password here your actual precondition test blocks also going to change right if you make a change here in the test case your entire library is going to change so that means if you change the library all the test cases referenced to these reusable test blocks will change right so now i want to use the reusable test blocks to create a new test case to automate a new test case but i don't want to use the same test data in all the test cases how can we do that okay so let's copy this the previous test case that we have created in my previous session and then paste this paste it here okay and rename this as 17 business parameters okay done so now this is my new test case so before you start working on this first i want to make changes to my library okay under library go to precondition so for this precondition i want to create business parameters here why i want to create two uh, sorry three business parameters right click you have to click on create whenever you have to create business parameter at folder level right click on this click on business parameter okay. so once we create business parameter here right now you can start creating actual business i mean sorry for this business parameter you can create parameters 1 2 3 so let's name this as the first one url is my first business parameter username is my second business parameter and then password is my third business parameter okay so now let's expand this let's expand this so now if you want to replace the hard coded values right here in the precondition just remove this these hard coded let's say i want to remove this url i want to remove the value of username i want to remove the value of password right so simply what you need to do is you have to drag and drop okay so one minute so what you need to do you need to drag and drop your business parameters okay so here for example url right drag and drop here sorry drag this business parameter drop here what it will do it's going to create so before that sorry before you drop actually i have to remove the values okay remove the value drag and drop url so what it will do it's going to create a link to this parameter business parameter open curly braces pl open square braces your parameter name close square braces and close curly braces in the same way for this email remove this email remove the password simply drag and drop your username and password here okay so let me sorry password 
okay now i want to use this username right drag and drop here in the same way password drag and drop on to password okay so it's created your so let me just one more time i want to drag and drop my password okay because it's a password it's going to show it as a password field drag and drop it to the password that's it so now that means now it created the links of your business parameters to the values right so now let's go back to your test case here now now here if you see expand your precondition okay in this test case here now i can pass the business parameters here right so let's pass the business parameters to this test case let's say i want to use this url for this test case okay i can use this url and i want to use password as username as this one and the password as this right okay let me change my username okay this is my username and this is my password let's say if tomorrow i want to create one more test case you can simply copy this and paste it here now this time you can change your business business parameters new url you can provide new username new password so this test case will run with this kind of test data set another test case will run with another test data set so basically you can create multiple test cases but you can execute the test cases with different data sets so now let's just simply run this test case right click so before run let me close the web okay so right click here now and run this in the scratch book so it opens your this thing it should see it took the url from the business parameter and then username password from the business parameter that's it is going to execute your entire test case so basically this time we have taken the test data from the business parameter and if you want to create another test case with a different data set you can simply copy and paste and you can change the business parameter values okay okay so let's close this okay that's done so let's go back here let's say i want to copy this again okay i want to create one more but i want to use some other test data set now okay right, right click and paste so here in this right in this test case now i can change the data set here i can change my username as something else and i can change the password to something else correct and now you can run this that means two test cases we can run with different data sets so this way you need not to so you are not what what is the purpose of business parameter is you can reuse your test blocks to automate new test cases but you need not to use the same test data that is available in your in your reusable test blocks you can change your test data and you can use your own test data for each test case that you automate okay hope you all understand the very important concept of business parameters okay if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand the concepts of business parameters and why do we use business parameters 
and how can you use these business parameters by using latest version Trison Testosca 16. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.